consecutive times reaching at least first base, and that's held by Ted Williams. The national record set this year by Barry Bonds at set at 15. 2-0 delivery. And we check. Larry Walker has been in and out of the lineup so much for Colorado. We wondered this morning whether or not he was going to have enough at bats to qualify. He already does. So the race is on there too. There you see seven for his last seven. And he's on again. So John Olerud keeps the streak alive 11 straight times on base. A hand for Piazza. Steve Phillip, the Mets GM, saying his phone lines, the recording machine filled with messages from fans saying, keep Mike Piazza, get him signed. 1 0 count. He is now fifth in the league in hitting at 330, 108 RBIs, and 32 homers. 1 0 1. Twenty three of those home runs with the Mets, seventy three of those RBIs with the Mets. He has hit three fifty one for the Mets since coming here from the Marlins. One one just missed inside Meadows two and one. Batting 414 in the month of September with all the dramatic home runs. He's had six of them. Game winning, game tying RBIs. He and Todd Hundley have provided in the last month a catching duo at the plate of power. Right field. Katze's got to beat on this one. And he's got it. No runs, no hits, a base runner left on, no score at the end of the first inning. Back after this one. Kevin Ory leads it off, batting 220, but has power and takes the pitch for a strike. Nor and Gonzalez to follow. We welcome Steve Berger, who joins us here with a interesting cap of his own on G I N K O B A. How's that pronounced? Ginkoba. We knew that. Did you have any doubts? Down to third, fouled off strike two. We were just waiting for your visit, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? I'm happy to be here. I mean, just last night I ordered a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have the same same effect here as getting Cobra, but we'll get to that in a moment. Lighter with an 0-2 count. And Ori thought about going after it. Did not go around. Ball and two strikes. Official Gikoba hat since she did such a wonderful job in saying that, Gary. Thank you, Steve. Thank <laughs> you very, very much. That is adjustable, too, Gary. It is adjustable, <laughs> yes, and it is, is Ginkoba. <laughs> right there, it says so. <laughs> and the delivery is swung on and fouled off. Now, tell us about Ginkoba because we've talked about it all year long. Well, I'd also like to give you some product here um, to enhance your memory, concentration, and mental focus. So well, I need you it. Well, gotta, I need so it. You, <laughs> you got to take it so the next time you'll remember how to pronounce it, you see. Will I hit more home runs? I, I, I don't know about You'll have to take Ginsana for that, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Here's the one do delivery, and it's up by do and do. Well, it's really an association where the Gin Cobra comes, in fact, uh, into play. All right. Association for nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, aren't you happy you came up? I'm, Here's, I'm <laughs> <laughs> towards second by Erga, and that took a hop on him. Probably will be an infield single. Not hit that hard, and Kevin Ory is on. Yeah, almost all errors that are committed when an infielder goes to his right, the ball hits the heel of the glove. About 90% of the time, and that's what happens to Carlos. Watch the heel of the glove bouncing up too high and plopping out. 
he uh, probably didn't have a play at first base anyway. That ball would have been awfully tough to throw. So well, it goes to the base hit. Goes to the base hit. That'll be the third off lighter. And a leadoff single here in the second inning. Randy Noor batting just 217 on the year, but he's got a seven game hit streak. He's having a fine final month for this 29 year old veteran catcher. K N O R R. Kanor. Kanor. <laughs> Steve Berger, is that the pronunciation on his name now? K N? I, I think that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Kanor. <laughs> well, like Ralph said yesterday, it's Bobby Kanop. Right. Well, why isn't he Kanor? <laughs> <laughs> Randy Knorr with a 2 0 count. Leiter checks first and gets the inside corner with it, two and one. I guess the whole thing uh, in this experiment is that we've been pronouncing Gin Ginkoba with a soft G all year. It's tough to break habits now, Steve. <laughs> and, and you're saying that we should pronounce it with a hard G. Right. Okay. Ginkoba. Okay. Two ball, one strike delivery. And that one broken bat towards right center field. It'll stay up. Plenty of time to be played by Lenny Harris. And there's one away. Of course, Gary, you got the old Yogi Bear answer. When they asked Yogi what size cap did he wear in spring training, he says, I don't know. I'm not in shape yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he'd taken Gen Kobe, he'd have known the answer because his memory would have been enhanced. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we would have missed out on a lot of good lines. That's too. what's right. <laughs> yeah, right. And Steve wouldn't have had a chance to come visit us. I don't know if there's enough Gen Kobe for Case. <laughs> Alex Gonzalez now with a runner on at first base. You're going to give some of this to Timmy, I hope. <laughs> Down the right field line, Absolutely. fouled up. We brought a box for Tim also. Okay. Thank you that much. I need it. All right. Ralph's the Great. only one up here. That's another need... guy that really needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Gonzalez, one down, 0 1 count. I guess I'm beyond health. Right? <laughs> no You're good Cobra for you today, Ralph. In the best, best shape of all. <laughs> Squares to butt. Alfonso, the clean pickup, and gets it. He was running for the base hit. Gonzalez out of there, two down. Steve Berger, thanks very much for coming up and helping us out. We really appreciate it. Thank you it. very much, and uh, think better, think Ginkoba. Thank you. On to the playoffs. <laughs> Steve Berger from Ginkoba. That's G-I-N-K-O-B-A. Edgardo Alfonso, plenty of time, so he made the glove pickup. Very uh, stupid play right there, using both hands with the glove not barehanded in the play as he knew he had the time. Astute play by Alfonso, but a bad play by Gonzalez. You, you know, you're bunting a guy over to, uh, obviously he's bunting for a base hit, but then you have first and second, your pitcher's got to get him over. Not a good play by Gonzalez. Brian Meadows has not had a lot of success at the plate outfield will move way in on him he's had seven singles in 51 at bats three RBIs lighter got it in there and it's foul back one ball one strike on Meadows two down runner on at second base Kevin Ory the Cubs game at Wrigley starts at 220 Eastern time about 10 minutes from now they will take on Cincinnati Pete Harnish and Kevin Tappany are the scheduled starters in that ball game at Wrigley. Kevin Tappany going for number 20 for the Cubs this afternoon. One thing about Pete Harnish, he does throw high fastballs, high sliders. Sammy Sosa, low ball hitter. Sammy Sosa, 0 for 8. Matter of fact, 0 for his last 12 since that grand slam the other night in San Diego. Cincinnati pitchers have really eaten him up. They really have. Tommy Glavin came away with victory number 20 last night for Atlanta. He's the only 20 game winner. Tappany's the only one at 19. Reynolds Brown both at 18. Greg Maddox at 17. 3 1 delivery to Meadows. Swung on. 3 and 2. Lighters trying to reach that 17 mark here today. American League uh, 20 game winners there potentially Rick Helling David Cohn who didn't get it yesterday Roger Clemens they all have 19 
Martinez Wells and Aaron Seeley at 18. 3 2 inside corner strike ball. Ryder gets his third K, no runs, a base hit. Runner left on, that's three stranded by Florida on the first two. Back after this from Lincoln Mercury. This is Imagine TV. You know what? Lower the price on those pants. Okay. It doesn't get lower than a $2.98 monthly lease on the Mercury Sable LS Touring Edition, but time is running out to get $2,235 in no-charge extras. If you want this loaded Sable for $6,000 less than Camry XLE, hurry to your Lincoln Mercury dealer. How's this for a low price? No, lower. How's this for a low price? Till next time, imagine yourself in a Mercury. 99 cents for five nuggets. 99! Did you know Wendy's five-piece chicken nuggets are just 99 cents every day? Excuse me? This price is every day? That's right. Dave is proud to present five crispy chicken nuggets for 99 cents every day. 99 cents is not going to change? This is not like for a week? I don't know what you're saying. That's a good nugget. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. It's worth crossing the road for. Your local Wendy's has a special ticket offer for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes November 5th through January 3rd. Conquered the Amazon and the Serengeti. But now it's truly King of the Jungle. Now until September 30th, get $2,000 cash back on every 98 Nissan Pathfinder. Phillips presents Motown Live. This fall, the party's all the way live on Motown Live. Premiering October 3rd at 11, only on UPN 9. Welcome back. We uh, tried to keep you up to date, of course, on what's going on in all the races. Uh, interesting, the American League West, of course, continues up for grabs. Late ball games have been played out there. It's been kind of hard to get some of the scores, but Texas lost last night. And Anaheim won. So they are back to a one-game difference. The Rangers leading Anaheim for the Western Division title by just one game. And they play each other three times in Anaheim this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Texas ends with four against Seattle. And Anaheim ends with four against the Oakland Athletics. What a great final week to a great season. Mm. Unbelievable. Brian McRae, followed by Lenny Harris and Carlos Baeger off Brian Meadows. BMAC hitting a 267. And the breaking ball from Meadows missed inside to him. One ball, one strike. The interesting thing about uh, Anaheim and Texas is the loser doesn't get in the wild card. Well, they could. They're four and a half games behind yeah, Boston it, right now. It's an outside shot. Very, very outside. different. Yeah. Two chances slim and none. Now, Red Sox have pretty much taken care of that with Toronto backing off. McRae to second base. Castillo over. And uh, McRae's retired. One away here in the second inning. Betting six. Number there you 19. see in Milwaukee today, Mark McGuire, 65 home runs. First inning. Two-run homer giving the Cardinals that two-nothing lead. It is so great not to know what the last home run is going to be. Can you believe that a guy can hit 65 home runs in the season and maybe not win the home run title? Maybe not win the MVP. As a matter of fact, he's not even uh, in consideration, in my judgment, for the MVP award. I think there are several guys in the National League ahead of Mark. So Boys just a lose. Sammy yep. Sosa, I think, should get it. Two out to Lenny Harris down to first base, Ryan Jackson. What about Andres Galarraga? Now, there are real contenders for that. Say one name that's, uh, that's going to get totally overlooked Carlos and he, he can't get the votes is Vinny Castillo. Yeah. I mean, he is, he's put up almost some triple crown numbers this year, but he's not even mentioned and won't be because playing for a Colorado club that's been out of it for a long time but what a year he's had two down nobody on Carlos Baerga Ryan Meadows getting the ground ball out that perky jerky delivery that he's got as he cocks that arm back in unusual fashion It'll be difficult to time him first time around 
In 1941, Ted Williams had 406 and was not the MVP. Show to mind you. Ted Williams won the Triple Crown in 1942 and was not the most valuable player. Williams winning it in 47 and 49. Beloved by the press. Loved the pre lo <laughs> press. Loved it. Especially Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Yeah. The 2-0 delivery by Erga pops that one up and no play. Of course, you can't blame Sports Illustrated in 41 and 42. No. Wasn't him out then. They weren't out then, no. 1954, I believe, was the first year for SI. It was just another tree growing in the forest. Yeah. Mike Piazza for the New York Mets certainly had some MVP kind of numbers for New York as far as the team's concerned. By Erga, hard line drive. Two out single. By the way, Mark McGuire's 65th home run came against Scott Carl of the Milwaukee Brewers. And Chicago goes into Milwaukee on Tuesday and Wednesday while the Mets are hosting the Montreal Expos. And then Chicago ends their season in Houston with three Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the Mets go to Atlanta, a team against which they won three of four the last time they faced them. There you see the final games affecting the wild card race as Ray Ordonez takes the strike with two down. Today and day off tomorrow for both clubs and then a day off Thursday and the final series for the two teams. Ordonez batting at 249, runner at first and two away by Erga the base runner. And Meadows is down low with it. Guys, it's also interesting to note that both the Mets and the Cubs have better records than every team in the American League but the Yankees. That's that's staggering, really, when you talk yep. about two teams having great years, the Mets and the Cubs. Yep. Think about that. Better than even the Boston Red Sox and both division leaders, the Anaheim Angels in the West and the Cleveland Indians in the Central. Mets and Cubs have 87 wins. Boston has 86. Cleveland has 86. Texas, of course, 83. Behind the pack in first place in the American League West. National League now Atlanta's the number one team. They've gotten their 100th win with Tommy Glavin's 20th victory. Houston has 98 wins, two behind, and San Diego 96. So the home field advantage breakdown goes just that way right now. Atlanta will would have it. Then Houston, then San Diego. One ball, two strike count. Viagra being held at first. Kevin Ory. And that will do it. No runs, a base hit, one left on. We've completed two at Shea, no score. Back after this from Chevrolet. Chevrolet would like to bring you this special announcement. New Chevy cars and trucks are heading Right your now, way. your local Chevy dealer is offering great deals. During the Chevy model year clearance, check out the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Chevy trucks. Get $750 back on CK half tons. Choose .9 APR financing or $1,500 back on Venture. .9 or $2,000 back on S10. And .9 or $2,500 back on Blazer. Time's running out on great 98 model deals at your local Chevy dealer. During the Chevy model year clearance. Every day, new communications companies enter the picture. And while these outsiders may try to lure you away, don't be taken. In our neck of the woods, only Bell Atlantic has the local experience and know-how to meet any communications challenge, no matter how far flung. Wild things are happening. Bell Atlantic, we'll see you there. here Mark McGuire 65th home run being applauded at Shea
So Sammy's got some hitting to do. He's going to catch up with Mark McGuire. Couple behind now. But Sosa's like McGuire tends to hit home runs and clutches. Bang a couple out in a ball game. And the Cubs desperately needing that game today at home. We'll see how that goes. See Carlos Baerga and John Olerud both moving up shallow. If Castillo bunts, he'll probably push it to the right side. Castillo tries to do just that. Olerud's right there. Trying to put it between the pitcher and the first baseman. Never got it down. Center fielder Todd Dunwoody. One away, Todd Dunwoody coming up. Lighter, no walks, three strikeouts. He's won his last four. An incredible run of 13 wins, two losses, and three no decisions in his last 18 games. To go 16 and five. Don Woody batting uh, 2 of 49 at a single his first time up. Lighter's been coming inside on the left handers. Facing the second time through, Don Woody, Conce both picked up singles in the first inning. One 0 delivery. Slider missed outside. 2 0 count on Don Woody. Florida Marlins 51 wins and 104 losses after being the wild card team in the world champions last year with their 92 and 70 record 2 0 back inside but missed it 3 0 count how about this the Marlins got rid of Alex Arias Kevin Brown Moise Salou Jeff Conine Dennis Cook Darren Dalton Al Lauder Rob Nen, Tony Saunders, Ed Bosberg, and Devon White, all before the season started. That's why we're talking about rookies. Leiter gives up the walk to the left-hander Dunwoody, who's been on twice now. First walk off Leiter. And that will bring up another left-hander, Mark Kotze, who extended his hit streak to nine games with a single in the first inning. The only other team to do something close to that was the 1914 Philadelphia A's. They won 99 and lost 53 to win the American League. Lost four straight to the Braves in the World Series. Left field, Tony Phillips. Two down. Their team in 1915 won 43 and lost 109. After they traded away their Let's infield the and board. some of their hitting stars. That was Connie Mack, who was the owner and the manager of the A's at that time. Connie Mack threw nickels around like manhole covers. The parsimonious Connie Mack. And he was stingy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff Floyd hitting a 288. He was also rich. <laughs> Two down. Managed longer than anybody in baseball history. And the reason why? He owned the team. You can do that. That one fouled back by Floyd. The interesting thing about that, it seems that we, we kind of treat the, what happened to the Marlins as a new age happening. Not so. Unusual, but not new age. Cliff Floyd, the numbers he's put up against the New York Mets this season. Seven game hit streak for Floyd, dangerous hitter. And he takes a strike on the inside corner. Well, that's, what, goes ahead. that's what set up the strikeout of Floyd's last time up, pitching him tight. You can bet Jim Leland has told the left handed hitters, look away, look away, look away. Just like Dixie. Two strike count, runner goes. That one hit in the air towards center, Brian McRae there. No runs, no hits. Base runner left. Marlins has David Berg has gone in at second base as Castillo has come out of the ball game. That's the delay here while Berg warms up. A straight up change. So Castillo either started with an injury or had something happen in the first couple of bad bats. He's out of there and Berg's on at second. Lighter. We'll go against Meadows. Al Leiter followed by the top of the order, Phillips, and then Edgardo Alfonso. 
in at third base Kevin Ory. And Al takes the pitch away for a ball lighter. He's picked up five hits two extra base hits two doubles. Those coming in 53 at bats this year. Meadows in with a strike to him one on one. They're underway at Wrigley Field. We'll keep an eye on it. So will the fans. It's so much fun. The fans applauding yesterday every time a new score was put up on the board that showed Cincinnati leading. Then the final score was up there well ahead of the conclusion of the Mets Marlins game. One two delivery and a lighter's gone. It will be very interesting to hear the fan response if Sammy Sosa hits a home run. We've already heard the response from Mark Let McGuire. Tony Phillips. You talk about uh, a crowd torn by emotion here. A packed house Please at Shea. A sellout on Fan Appreciation Day with so many things to cheer about and boo about. You know something? I think they'll boo roundly. Yeah, I do too. I do too. This is about the Mets now. I mean, the ideal thing for the crowd here would be for Sammy Sosa to hit two out today and for Cincinnati to win 11 to 2. Anything more on Cincinnati's side, the Mets fans will be happy. <laughs> Tony Phillips flying out to center field his first time up. <laughs> it protects you from the sun. Keeps those dangerous rays. Does? Yeah, oh yeah. Maybe a halo would, Sci but not a balloon. No. No. Scientifically proven. <laughs> we'll see that photo in the New England Journal of Medicine next month. A 2-0 count on Tony Phillips. Meadows fastball is there. He's throwing strikes, two and one. We mentioned yesterday that the two teams, the Cubs and Mets, incredibly, have not been separated by more than a game since August 7th in the wild card race. I mean, that's how tight this wild card race has been. With either one or the other, they flip flop the lead a couple of times, but only one game. The Mets uh, in their last 62 games have won 39 and lost 23. What a finish. In virtually every one of those ball games and right down to the final out. Three ball, one strike count. Mets lead the majors in one run wins, adding another yesterday. They're 35 and 25 in one run games. Lead by uh, big margin. Yeah, With big margin. Wins, yeah. Tony Phillips trying to draw the walk here. Full count, three and two. Switch hitter this year, 275 right, 213 batting left handed, but he's drawn more walks. 18 from this side of the plate, 16 the other way. And he scrunches way down here and he gets it. Second walk given up by Meadows, puts Phillips on with one away. Today's game brought to you by Budweiser Brewery, fresh Budweiser, the official beer of Major League Baseball. A lot of things Bobby Valentine can do right now with Edgardo Alfonso. Meadows is a ground ball pitcher, and those are the types. <laughs> it is the five. Those are the types of pitchers that you love to use the hit and run on. Jackson holding at first comes off the bag on the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Alfonso called out on strikes his first time up. He has done well against Meadows this year. Four hits and nine at bats off Brian Meadows. No score in this game, bottom of the third inning. The 0 1 is popped up. Berg at second base. Two down. Well, here comes Mr. Automatic. John Olerud drew a walk his first time up, extending his streak now 11 straight times. He has reached base. In this series, he has gone six for six. Batting 352, 
three points behind Larry Walker for the lead for the batting title. And outside to Olerud, ball one. Colorado playing at San Diego, a day game, but obviously will not get underway until after 4 o'clock on the West Coast. Runner at first, Tony Phillips, two down. Left center field. Has he done it again? Done what he going back at the wall. Oh, mercy. Goodbye, home run. They cannot get that old root out. It's a curtain call. John Olerud, 22nd home run, 2 nothing match. John is so modest, uh, he's not used to curtain calls. He gave the curtain call as the pitch was on the way, Ben, and Mike Piazza had to take a strike. Mike's probably saying, while you're giving curtain calls, I'm taking strikes. What's going on? Man. Piazza. So John Olerud now, 8 for 8 in the hit department. And he has been on base 12 straight times. Amazing. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, and these hits aren't even close. He's hitting the ball so hard. There have been no cheap hits in the package. He is so modest that he apologizes when he hits a ball out of the ballpark for losing the ball. <laughs> All of this after he and his wife Kelly have had their first child. Does wonders for you. Piazza fouls it off. Not that he was bad before, but can't get him out since. Since Garrett John came into the world uh, about 10 days ago, uh, the National League has not gotten older root out for the most part. I guess Garrett John's thinking, hey, my dad's great. He's probably hitting 950. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. That'll be our new numbers on John before yeah. and after Garrett. You got it. He hasn't seen him make an out yet. <laughs> Fouled off. <laughs> He's going to celebrate his first birthday, and his dad will be 99 for 99. I, I was going to say, Garrett, of course, watching our game today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Along with mom at home, a couple of hot dogs. <laughs> Carlos Viergas saying, just touch me, would you? Two strike count on Piazza and a breaking ball outside. One and two. Mike Piazza flight out to right field his first time up. 329 on the season. You see the home run pace that has really quickened for Piazza in the last 50. Meadows got it in. Center field straight up Dunwoody. But John Olerud has done it again after the walk to Tony Phillips and two down. He delivers the long ball. Mets up. Back after this from Dodge. For the Mets. Every pitch so important. John, about as laid back as anybody in baseball. You need the guys with a lot of intensity in the dog days of August to kind of kick it in gear. But for right now, you need the settling influence of a John Olerud, and he has certainly been that and just absolutely spectacular the last two weeks he and Mike Piazza in the month of September are both hitting over 400 <laughs> and there you <laughs> before Garrett and since Garrett see what a difference a baby makes in your life yeah Brian Jackson's <laughs> <laughs> that's John Garrett Olerud the son is Garrett John Olerud Oh, baby, you got to love oh, it. Oh, <laughs> baby. A good title for a book. Here's the old one delivery, and that's popped up outside a third. And a two-strike count on Ryan Jackson.
26 years old. He's one of the veterans. 0 oh, 2 delivery by Leiter. Up high to him. 1 and 2. Al has walked one, struck out three. Yesterday, the Marlins, a lot of chances on the base pass. They left 13, 7 in scoring position yesterday for Jimmy Leland's team. And uh, that will be strikeout number four. One down here in the fourth inning. You can imagine the emotion and the feeling at Wrigley Field when that two went up in the bottom of the third inning. Chicago Cubs fans are probably saying, throw it back, throw it back. <laughs> Before it goes off the bat. <laughs> right. right. Kevin Ory, Mets on top here, 2 nothing. Ory, a single his first time up, takes the pitch inside for a ball. That's now 46 and 32 here at Shea Stadium this year. Five speed delivery, hack foul, one ball, one strike on Ori. The last time the Cubs were in a World Series was 1945. So it has been a long, long time for the Cub fans. They, like the Red Sox fans, was. Two, two groups of fans never believe until it's dead done. For the New York Mets, of course, 12 years ago, 1986, for the Houston Astros, never, never. The San Diego Padres, 1984. The Atlanta Braves, 1996. One, two delivery. Again, foul back by Kevin Ory. Let's take a look at the Nobody Beats the Wiz National League scoreboard. See the Astros battling for first overall. McGuire, 65th home run. No score at Wrigley. 1 2 delivery. A pie, two balls, two strikes. Our Toyota American League scoreboard. with four strikeouts the 2 2 that's going to go into the glove of Alfonso no chance to make the play infield single for Kevin Ori knocked down by Edgardo Alfonso so Ori's two for two and he's on with one away those are the types of throws that can do damage to the shoulder right there or the elbow that hurried throw from a prone position or near prone position John Olerud shrewdly moving off the bag to make sure that it doesn't get by him. Alfonso injured that shoulder throwing earlier this year. That's a tough throw there. Runner on, Randy Noor flied out first time up. Flied to right. Noor with his seven game hit streak. He's had a good road trip for this club. Going uh, seven for 24, about 300 for an average here in this 13 game trip they've had. Chases one out of the strike zone there, one and one. Matt's leading it by a score of two nothing. Chance today to sit alone, top that wild card race. They can get a win and the Cubs lose. Inside, two balls, one strike. Cincinnati failed to score in the top of the first inning. Cubs coming up. If these teams tied, there would be a playoff game Monday here at Shea Stadium. It's a week from tomorrow, obviously. Another week left to go in the season. 2-1 delivery, grounded foul outside the third. Well, you know, Gary, uh, Ralph, one of the interesting things about that extra day, uh, if it's between... Uh, the Cubs and the Mets. I mean, you don't know about three-way ties now because the Giants aren't out of it. But that would give uh, Sammy Sosa an extra day, the 163rd game of the year, and that would count in the regular season stats. Which would be fair since McGuire's had 163 because of the rain out. rain out. Even though he set out. That one to left field hit hard. Tony Phillips back. <laughs> Randy Noor retired. Yeah, after the season is over, the 
St. Louis Cardinals will have played 162 decisive games and one indecisive game, a rainout, when it's tied after five innings. Uh, the game does not count, but the statistics do. But that was the one game that McGuire set out. It's a strange rule to me. It is. I agree with that. I agree. Game doesn't count. The stats do. Yeah. Right? Alex Gonzalez. Two down. Runner still at first base and Kevin Ory. They have had two out of three in playoffs before where you get three extra games if it goes to the, the uh, third game. And those stats do count. Yep. That was before the advent of uh, of divisional play in 1969. Two strikes on Gonzalez. You think of the games that played after the 162 game schedule. The Houston Astros played the Los Angeles Dodgers in 1980 that extra game and uh, several years ago the Seattle Mariners hosted the then California Angels up in Seattle Randy Johnson beat them one and two outside Gonzalez not chasing in that 1951 I had to sweat out Gil Hodges on a home run championship he got three extra games that he uh, had to uh, beat me out all you could do is watch. Got him on the strikeout. That's five in the ball game for Leiter. Mets up back after this from Ford. Two at nothing. And today's game is being brought to you by Nobody Beats the Wiz. For total entertainment, Nobody Beats the Wiz, a cable vision company. And by your local greater New York Toyota dealer. Toyota, every day. The Unisphere. Across the, the street in the park, Corona Park. Two World's Fairs were held over there. That's the enduring symbol. Brian McRae makes a call strike. McRae hitting a 266, grounded out his first time up. Harris and Bayerga do up this inning. Big second half for Brian. Meadows misses 101. Montreal comes in on Tuesday and Wednesday. Two night games. It'll be Mike Thurman against Amando Reynoso on Tuesday and Carl Pavano against Bobby Jones on Wednesday. Then the day off again on Thursday and on to Atlanta to wrap up the regular season. Meadows, two walks, two strikeouts. The home run by Olerud accounting for the Two runs. Only other hit a single by Bayerga. Think of the two key Mets this year, particularly in the second half. Brian McRae, Turk Wendell coming over last year, about 14 months ago. And a trade made by Steve Phillips. Very risky. Gap in left center, Floyd. And criticized initially. But uh, the way I see this, I don't think Steve Phillips has received the credit that he deserves. I mean, for putting this team together, for acquiring Lenny Harris, Tony Phillips, for not getting rid of a lot of guys, for having the faith in Armando Reynoso. I think he and Bobby Valentine have just done a terrific job. Bobby on the field and Steve getting the, him the, the players that he deserves to win. Finishing with a huge rush for this combination that works. Lenny Harris, a 1-0 count, one down. I think the executive of the year right now is Jerry Hunsicker of the Houston Astros. We were talking about that yesterday, a tribute to the Mets organization that Hunsicker would be there with Houston in a big winning year. Yeah. Eddie Lynch would be in Chicago, yeah. both former assistant GMs here in New York. One ball, one strike count on Lenny Harris. Meadows fastball catches the inside corner one and two. Hunsinger really stole the player of the year and getting Randy Johnson from Seattle. That was a great big move and a surprise one when it was announced that one up the middle that hit Meadows maybe in the ankle it'll be a base hit Berg out to get it one out single for Harris.
second baseman, Carlos Mayerga. This ball hit right back to the originator. Hard smash off the leg of Meadows and into right center field. And the Mets have their third hit of the ball game. Jimmy Leland out with the trainer to check on Brian Meadows. Looks like it may have caught more of the shoe than bone. They'll stay on. So with one down, Harris is on. Carlos Baerga picked up a single in his first at bat. Bay Steelers 12 for 15 against Meadows this year. Lenny Harris on at first, 6 for 10 in stolen bases. Meadows tests the foot by throwing over. Bayer got out of the lineup yesterday against the left-handed starter. Back in today, batting 286 left-handed and 196 right-handed. Runner goes, throw down by Noor. What a throw! Got him. Perfect throw by Randy Noor, who throws him out at a 30% rate, and Lenny Harris is out of there. Lenny Harris did not agree with Terry Tata, but it looked like the tag was made by Gonzalez. And you're right, Gary, that was a laser looked like his left heel Lenny thought with the outside slide that he avoided the tag did he touch the heel that was a great slide right there very close well Harris actually has a beef coming on that it looked like he missed the body and the heel slip Floyd can he get there has he got it? Give me a call. Yes, he's out of there. Second base umpire Terry Tata out to make the call, but Floyd may be hurt. He slipped as he started in for the ball and then had to dive awkwardly and finally made the catch. Oh, boy, that, that looks serious there. This ballpark wow. has been bad news for Cliff Floyd. He had his wrist shattered by Todd Huntley in 1995. Either six to eight bones were broken in his wrist when he tried to tag out Huntley coming down the line to first base. He's both trying to catch the ball, avoid a collision. Ouch. Cliff Floyd down in the outfield with the Mets are retired and uh, Mets are going to send friend Heena, their trainer, out there as well, just to see maybe whether or not they need a doctor. We'll keep an eye on him and check in after this from OmniPoint. Hello? Susan, it's Fred. Hi. Are we still on for tonight? Indeed. I have reservations at Shea Joseph. Really? That place is always booked. Well, Shea's a personal friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Pick you up at seven. Okay. Um, so, do you look as good as you sound? <laughs> Custom tailor your phone, pricing plan, and features only with OmniPoint. Call 1-800-BUY-OMNI. When we built our house, we found a lot that was just perfect. Yeah, well, it was the worst sight I'd ever seen. We love the view, and the sunsets are incredible. The weather is brutal. It had everything. Earthquakes, tidal waves, horizontal rain. We wanted lots of windows. I insisted on Anderson windows. At Anderson, we appreciate the builders who, time after time, make it look easy. We're still in love with this house. And I'm still recovering. Worry-proof, time-proof. Anderson windows. What you want is low 0.9% financing plus $7.50 cash back on a Ford Taurus. What you need is to hurry to your Tri-State Quality Board store. It's the final days of Ford's factory-authorized clearance. Time is running out to get low 0.9% financing plus $7.50 cash back on every Ford Taurus in stock. 
What you want is a huge selection of Ford Tauruses with low zero now financing plus 750 cash back. What you need is to hurry to the final days of Ford's factory authorized clearance. Visit your Tri-State Quality Ford store now. We're going to have a delay here. Unfortunately, Cliff Floyd not getting up after making that catch in left field. And they have brought the cart out to take uh, Floyd off the field so they can keep that leg as still as possible. Guys, that, that is just a shame right there. I mean, a, a young man works his way back after that horrible collision, dislocated hand when Todd Hunley ran into him and fights his way back, rehabs his way back, year and a half, those lonely days in the trainer's room and with the weights, almost a career-threatening injury, and now this happens to him. That, that is shameful. Mm. Boy. You see him shaking his head. He can't believe it. 1995, he missed 181 days trying to recuperate from his shattered hand in the collision with Huntley at first base. And now, apparently, his season is over for this year. Their shortstop, Renteria, is probably not going to play again. He's he's out. Castillo started today at second base. We don't know what happened to him, but he came out of the game. And uh, now it's jammed right thumb we hear on Castillo, the second baseman, and now Cliff Floyd, the injury in left field. While that was going on, L. Leiter got the Mets grounds crew out on the mound to tap down around the pitching plate. Apparently felt it was a little soft there and he uh, wanted it hardened up a little bit so they came out and pounded that down right on the uh, home plate side of the plate. That often happens when you have a right handed pitcher and a left handed pitcher because their landing spots the left hander with his right foot the right hander with his left foot are different and you dig different holes instead of landing in the same hole. Brian Meadows the pitcher. A strikeout victim his first time up. Leiter has walked one, struck out five. Now looking for his fifth straight win in a row. Has the 2-0 lead on the John Olerud home run. No score at Wrigley. Pitch is taken inside for a ball. One ball, one strike count on Meadows. Wind is blowing out now to left field. We've seen a couple of fly balls really carry well here in left center today one two count by the way first time up Sammy Sosa made an out so he's 0 for his last 13 first time up today at Milwaukee about 100 miles from Chicago Mark McGuire at a 65th home run of the year probably landed on Waveland <laughs> <laughs> two ball two strike count on Meadows Strikeout number six for Al Leiter. Let's take a look at our new Dodge Quiz here on this Davis Sunday Burr. afternoon at Shea. Al Leiter trying to become the Mets' seventh left-hander to lead the team in wins in a season. Can you name the other six? That's easy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Kuzman. Frank Viola. That's two. Dave Berg, his first at bat, coming on as the replacement for Castile. Got to figure John Matlack was in there somewhere. Might be, yeah. Well, that's a tough question. Bobby Ojeda, 1986. Mets winning 108 games in 86, and no 20-game winners. Overall that year, counting the World Series playoffs, 116 wins. And the Yankees won't come close to breaking the all-time record for 116 wins in a season done by the Cubs way back when. I believe it was 1908, wasn't it? 1906. And that was an 154 game season. 2-1 delivery. Berg fouls it off the end of the bat. Evening the count up two balls and two strikes. If, however, if, however, the Yankees win six of their next nine, they will set an all-time American League record. 111. 112. Yeah, 106 right now. 111 by Cleveland in 1954. 2-2 delivery to Berg right off Piazza's mask. Count will stay at 2-2. Two two. Now Leiter doing as he's done all year. 
strikeouts, not many walks. And that 111 win season by Cleveland in 54, they lost four straight in the World Series to the Giants. Dusty Rhodes was the hero of that series. And the great catch by Willie Mays off of Vic Works. The Yankees are going to go in with the best record in all of baseball, barring a uh, fantastic finish by Atlanta or, or Houston. 106 wins already for the Yankees, and Atlanta second in the majors with 100. The 2 2 delivery by Leiter is outside, and it goes full 3 and 2. The Red Sox being the wild card, of course. The Yankees will end up playing the team that is third seeded, which will be the Western Division winner. Either Texas or Anaheim, and the Red Sox will end up playing Cleveland. Unless Cleveland goes in the tank uh, the yeah. last week of the season. They currently have three more victories than Anaheim. Lighter, 3 2 delivery to Berg. Stays alive, fighting that one off outside a third. How weird is it that five divisions have been settled and no team knows where they're going to play yet? It's a horror show for booking hotels. <laughs> <laughs> the traveling secretary is in a quandary. Leiter with a 3 2 delivery. Berg battling here. Fouls off another pitch. Leiter facing his former team, but not necessarily his former teammates of a year ago. Tries again on the 3 2 to Berg, and he gets the pop up first base. Olerud puts it away for the second out. Al Leiter says, well, I'll try to power Dave Berg. Power, power, Center power. He kept fouling Dunwoody. balls off, and then the straight change finally got him. Two down, Todd Dunwoody. Two away, nobody on. Two-nothing lead for the Mets. Marlins have had four hits in the game. Leiter's trying to retire the side in order for the first time. Five have already been left on by the Marlins. And Dunwoody takes the pitch outside. Dunwoody's been on twice with a walk at a single, now hitting 249. One hop, second base by Erga. And there is a 1 2 3 inning. Leiter sets the Marlins down. His dad coming out to coach at first base. Of course, he was, Preston was formerly with the New York Mets here this season until the deal with the Florida Marlins, Piazza. Made his major league debut earlier in the year and then went down and played Triple A. Ray Ardonez will lead it off for the Mets. Al Leiter and then Tony Phillips to follow. Ardonez at 248, 0 for 1 in this ballgame. John Olerud, the home run, a two-run shot in the third inning with Tony Phillips on via the walk. The two runs on the board. Kevin Ory saving his life and one down. Ray Ardunez and Tom Robson, the hitting instructor, deserve a lot of credit. Ray Ardunez is swinging the bat much, much better and with much more authority this year than in past years. Hit that one right on the button. One down, lighter up. Struck out his first time up, one of two Ks for Meadows. Meadows a breaking ball in for a strike, 0 and 2. One good thing uh, from the Mets standpoint is Al Leiter will get one more start before the season's over. Another breaking ball misses, one ball, two strikes. Three strikeouts for Meadows. 
talking about the rotation now for the final Lefty week of the season for the New York Mets. Looks like this. Expos, of course, on Tuesday and Wednesday, both night games. And then the Alana Braves. Reynoso going in the first game against the Expos and Jones in the second. And then Reed, Leiter, and Reynoso in the final three against Alana. And Jones would pitch on Monday if there's a playoff. Base hit for Tony Phillips. He's been on twice with a walk and now a single here in the fifth with one away. Yeah, with two down, rather. Adeo Nomo taken out of the starting rotation by Bobby Valentine. Will work out of the bullpen if needed. Or if something happened to one of the other starters, of course, he's available. But right now, Nomo no longer in the rotation. Edgardo Alfonso 0 for 2 has walked, has uh, popped out and struck out. Phillips at first base with two down. Big breaking ball. Misses ball one. You know, there is the possibility that the Mets could clinch it. Of course, there's a possibility that the Chicago Cubs could clinch it. But, uh, the Mets will take the postseason any way they can get it. A major league pop-up, second base. Bird. And Alfonso's out of there. That is clinch it before Leiter's next start on Saturday. Then he might get rested. Yeah. Mets lead it 2 nothing. Leiter's on the mound here, shutting out the Marlins. Back after this from Nobody Beats the Wiz. There'll come a day when you can take your sweet time getting into your own photograph. Fujifilm's Smart Endeavor 3500iX camera. Just one reason why that day is today. Available at Nobody Beats the Wiz. There'll come a day when your photos will be so sharp, everyone will know Cousin Minnie's not really 29. Fujifilm's 35mm Superior Film. Just one reason why that day is today. Available at Nobody Beats the Wiz. What you want is five-star safety at a great price. What you need is to hurry to your Tri-State Quality Board Store for low 0.9% financing or $1,500 cash back on Ford Windstar. It's the final days of Ford's factory-authorized clearance. Time is running out to get low 0.9% financing or $1,500 cash back on every Windstar in stock. What you want is five-star savings at a Ford Windstar. What you need is to get to the final days of Ford's factory-authorized clearance at your Tri-State Quality Board Store now. Go, baby, go! Go, baby, go! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, the lady! Hey, the lady! Hey, the lady! Come on up to Belmont Park for the most exciting ride in sports. Racing Wednesday through Sunday, post time, 1 p.m. The New York Racing Association at Belmont Park. What a ride! Hey, fans, as the copy says, the Mets are having an end-of-the-season sale on new era fitted caps. Great fashion colors, and you can call right now and get a Mets-fitted new era cap for only $16. as 20% off the regular catalog price. They come in four colors, red, Columbia, blue, orange, and green, and brown. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll... I'll get to the rest. Mark Kose to right field. One pitch and uh, one out. <laughs> All right, let me tell you something. All there right. really were only four colors. Yeah. It's red, Left Columbia here. blue, Wilson. orange, and brown. All right. Okay? All right. And you can order by calling 718-803-4020. The operators are standing by right now. Be sure you know your hat size because adjustable hats are not available. 718-803-4020. Of course, you have to be in shape before you know the right size. That's right. So get on the scale first and then call. Preston Wilson, first at bat in for Floyd. With Florida, appearing in his 12th game, he's only had 25 at bats, one home run, one RBI. Stands in here with one down and nobody on. Lighter. Head on the count, one and two. 
Preston got a base hit his first at bat in the major leagues while playing for the Mets earlier this this year and was congratulated by his father the first base coach this time he's called out seven strikeouts for lighter Preston Wilson in there because of the injury to Cliff Floyd and Ralph you talked about it earlier back in 1995 the injury to Cliff Floyd in this ballpark with Todd Hundley and our crew has that play here it is right here and Huntley grinding the ball to the third base side the throw to first and Floyd gets his hand in the way of Huntley six of eight bones in his hand were either broken or dislocated on that play he is in terim, tremendous pain that was back on May 15th 1995 now out of the ball game today with what appeared to be a leg injury making a catch in left field Brian Jackson one one count two down nobody on and Jackson is down on the count one and two Here's the play today. Floyd coming in. Got a late jump. Hard to tell what it was. Yeah, it is. Uh, Looks like the shortstop hit that knee as he's fled by. It didn't appear to me that that would have been enough uh, for the type of injury that required a stretcher to, to cart him off or the golf cart. 2 2 delivery by Leiter. Jackson the left handers here in the lineup we were talking about earlier Dunwoody and Kotze picked up singles the first time through lighter since then has handled these left handers in this Florida lineup two ball two strike count and uh, he'll step out fans applauding for the eighth strikeout for lighter that one to left field not hard Tony Phillips Well, he retires the side in order for the second inning in a row. That's eight in a row set down by Leiter. Back after this from Toyota. Are you here to open an account? No. I was at the ATM and I saw you drive up in that clunker. Excuse me? Here's what a VP should be driving. A Toyota Avalon. It's clearance time. How would you like to lease a Toyota Avalon for only $2.99 a month? So take advantage. You deserve it. I'm glad you came in. Oh, as long as I'm here, how about switching my check pattern over to the Wildlife Series? I just want to tell you what a great job you're doing. You're hardworking, solid, dependable. You make our pan pizza America's favorite pizza. You make sure the crust is always crispy on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. Without you, this place is nothing. You are special. He's talking in the pan again. Come on. Give me a hug. Now get up to three toppings or a Supreme Pan pizza for just $8.99. That's $8.99. What more could you want? Pizza Hut, the best pizzas under one roof. Reese's not rageous. So loaded, you don't eat it, you survive it. Summer means clearance at your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Clearance means low finance rates. Now get 1.9 APR on all Chrysler and Plymouth minivans. Clearance means America's lowest priced minivan, Plymouth Voyager, costs even less. Clearance means big factory authorized cash back. Get 1,500 cash back on Plymouth Grand Voyager and Chrysler Town & Country LXI. Summer means clearance. Clearance means savings at your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Brian Meadows, two walks, three strikeouts, but has given up the big blow of the game to the man he faces now, leading off the bottom of the sixth inning. John Olerud, his 22nd home run with Phillips aboard, giving the Mets the 2-0 lead. As he continues his run, he's been on base twice, the homer and a walk. 12 straight times on base. Chasing the National League mark of Barry Bonds this year at 15. 
Eight hits in his last eight at bats. Twelve times up, twelve times on. This guy, you know, the Met record, nine straight hits. And there's a fair ball down the line to tie this guy. Rolls into the corner, cuts a over. A double for John Olaru. Pitching, there's no way to defend against him. He hits the home run out to left center and now pulls the ball right down the line. Remarkable. 36 doubles. John Olerud on. Mike Piazza. That's with their fifth hit off Brian Meadows. He's now batting 354, trailing Larry Walker by one point. Colorado plays at San Diego this afternoon, but it won't start till about 4 Eastern. Piazza with a two strike count. Back in 1993, Olerud hit 363 to lead the American League. Only one player has ever led both legs in hitting, Ed Delahunty. We did it back in the at the end of the eighth, 19th century and the start of the uh, 20th. Olerud is going to give it a run. Piazza drills it, but it's an out of ball. Dunwoody. One down. I know John is not fast. But I think he got to be on third base. Field, on a ball a hit that deep. Three. Outfield is all playing Piazza deep and John elects to go halfway and I know he's not a fast runner but watch how Kotze makes that catch he's not in position to throw the ball I think Olerud walks the third base that was a knuckleball hit out to the outfield and the ball acting like a knuckleball would changing direction it was hit that hard Olerud remains at second with one away and now Brian McRae McRae with an 0 for 2. Mets are on top, 2 0. Only four or five days ago, Larry Walker had a 15 point lead on John Olerud the last two weeks of the season. Now down to one. McRae. Dunwoody. Two down. Take a look at our new Dodge quiz. Lighter trying to become the seventh left-hander to lead the team in wins in a season. Who are the other six for the Mets? We mentioned Mickey Goldich. No, he's not on there. That's why we didn't mention him. <laughs> Good effort, though. Alvin Jackson. Shades of 1962 and three. Guzman, Orozco, Ojeda, Sid Fernandez, and Frank Viola, the other left-handers. Base hit! Lenny Harris, all the road coming! Big arm by Kotze to the plate! No tag! He scores! 3-0 Mets! People in baseball rarely disagree with Jim Leland's strategy, but I would have to here. I think Lenny Harris is a better hitter than Carlos Baerga, even from the left side. And Harris finding a hole, fine throw by Katze, but late. RBI for Lenny Harris, who goes to second on the throw. Baerga, foul ball. Lenny Harris, 27 runs batted in, and the Mets now up 3-0. Of all things, to dampen the excitement here at Shea, the Cubs are in a rain delay against the Reds. Believe that? 
scoreless ball game at Wrigley Field. There's the R for the rain delay. Baerga, left center. Dunwoody waving off Wilson. Makes the play. But the Mets get a big two out single by Lenny Harris. And it's a struck out seven. Kevin Ory. To lead it off, Ori, Nor, and Gonzalez against Leiter. And uh, not much of a bunt. Leiter. And Ori's out of there. Fans, Gensana is the all natural energizer. Find the energy, feel your Gensana. It's not Ginsana. It's Ginsana and Gin Koba. Gin Koba and Ginsana. Thank you. Last broadcast on WWOR of the year, and we finally got it right, proving once again that we catch on quickly. It's never too late. Never too late. Never. Randy Knorr. Well, Yogi was right. It's not over until it's over. Well, Ralph, it's over. <laughs> Today, we're done. Inside, 2 0 count. Gosh, you harken back to spring training. I remember uh, that day we were talking to Jim Leland, the Mets uh, televised game on WWOR. Jim Leland telling us that you guys are going to love Al Leiter. Said uh, last year with Rob Nin and Kevin Brown, the great pitchers they are, Al Leiter kept the ball off the fat part of the bat more than any of his pitchers. Nobody admires Al Leiter more than Jim Leland. He was right on every count. He sure was. He's given yeah. up only eight home runs there this is year. A, there is a possibility that Louisville Slugger likes him better than anybody. <laughs> Played <laughs> by Bayerga. Ryder breaks more bats than any pitcher the Mets have ever had with a possible Short exception of John Gonzalez. Matlock. Well, you know, you, it, it's an interesting point to me also. When all the talk is about signing Mike Piazza. When Al Leiter, I mean, a case could be made that you're signing the ace of your staff. Everybody knows about how important pitching is. Al Leiter, it seems, uh, maybe not as important as Piazza, but close, real close. Real close. Alex Gonzalez, two down, nobody on. There you see how much he keeps that ball off the fat part of the bat. Only Kevin Brown in San Diego, a better home run ratio. That one curving foul and into the seats. On the other hand, if the Mets do sign Mike Piazza, will they have enough money in the till to sign what Leiter's going to require? A tough call. Some postseason dollars wouldn't hurt. No. In making those decisions. No. A few 52,000 crowds here over and above the regular season. Two strike delivery by Leiter. Outside, one and two to Gonzalez. Two down, nobody on. Ten in a row set down by the Mets left hander. Looking for his 17th win of the year and his second against the Marlins. One two delivery off the fists again. We have been scheduled on uh, UPN nine to have another ball game in Atlanta. Scheduling change is the reason uh, this is going to be the last broadcast for us this year of Mets games. One two delivery foul back again in off the facade stays one and two. One two delivery with two down got him. Al Leiter, eight strikeouts, has retired the side in order for the last three innings. Mets up back after this from Toyota. You like the outdoors too, huh? Oh yeah, I'm getting into it. So when you hear the call of the wild, what do you do? Huh? 
Take yourself to your Toyota dealer. They're clearing out 98 Toyota 4Runners, offering $750 cash back or 2.9% financing. Cash back, low financing, what do you think? Great. But what exactly is the call of the wild? Arr There are a lot of people preparing for the year 2000. For the year 00, depending on your point of view. So is Nobody Beats the Wiz. Nobody panic. This is what we prepared for. Right now, get a brand new Mitsubishi Big Screen and pay nothing until January 2000. Happy New Millennium from Nobody Beats the Wiz, a cable vision company. Yeah, Peach. I'd like a wireless phone. Come here. Free phone if you sign up today, plus a zillion free minutes. Off-peak only, after a monthly service charge, which I change at will. Sign here. <laughs> What's this? Uh, you're indebted to me forever, yada, yada, yada. The contract? Don't do it. Don't do it. At Omnipoint, we have no contract to sign and no hidden charges. <laughs> so there's nothing to be afraid of. Look, I'm going to let you keep your first point. Omnipoint. Clear sound. Straight deal. For custom-tailored wireless, call 1-800-BUY-OMNI. Occasionally, time flies even faster than usual, like during the Dodge Summer Clearance, where for a limited time, Dodge Caravan, America's best-selling minivan, comes with exceptionally low 1.9 financing. Or select cash back instead, like $1,500 on Grand Caravan, or get $1,250 cash back on this caravan, making it America's lowest-priced minivan at just under $16,900. But please hurry, while time is still on your side. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Man having a personal communication relationship with his transistor radio and Bob Murphy. Murphy uh, off yesterday, his birthday, back today. Happy belated. <laughs> Did you bring the card, Ralph? I brought the card. Okay. And he has the card in his hand, or oh, possibly Joy, who his wife celebrated that birthday yesterday. Murph took the day off. Ray Ordonez. Mets have hit number seven. Lead off single. One for three for Ordonez. Tell you how important that hit was. What that will do, it will allow Al Leiter to butt Ordonez over to second, or try to, and he'll have three strikes to do it. That'll keep him off the bases. Allow him, give him a better chance to pitch a complete game and rest John Franco and Turk Wendell, who will have two days off today and tomorrow before Tuesday night's game against Montreal. And if he can get him over there, give the Mets a chance of putting another run up. Al Leiter has had four sacrifices on the year and bunts that one foul. Strike one. 3-0 lead, bottom of the seventh inning. Raining in Chicago, no score, third inning, Cincinnati and the Cubs. Now they're waiting on the weather. Bunt it here, you want to bunt it away from Kevin Ory, the third baseman, close enough to shake hands with Leiter. Lays down the bunt. Only plays at first. Leiter gets it done. A sacrifice. Ordonez to second with one away. You know, the Atlanta Braves teach their batters to bunt the ball back to the pitcher. And they're thinking on that. Bobby Dews, their third base coach, is telling me they're thinking on that is your pitcher is not one of the fielders on the infield. If you make him feel the ball, generally speaking, he's not the guy who's paid to field ground balls. He's paid to pitch. And generally speaking, he's the last guy of the three, first and third baseman and the pitcher, to come home. So bunting it back to the pitcher makes a lot of sense. Tony Phillips. And he's got the base hit. The strategy will work. Coming in to score, Ordonez, an RBI double for Tony Phillips, 4 nothing Mets. Tony comes through with a 
with a big base hit here to drive in that fourth run. He has walked and singled and doubled. He has proven to be an outstanding leadoff batter for the Mets. Or during the scoring, the Mets lead by four. Meadows is out of there. The Mets on top. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by OmniPoint. Get out now. Got a lot of dreams you're still chasing and too few dollars to catch them but to help make up for lost time you've got the investment answers you need at chase investment services corp advice you can trust right there in your branch you've got financial consultants who know it's not too late to get started you've got chase the right relationship is everything Ever think about the one, the only Pizza Hut pan, the holder of our favorite pizza? Yeah, we ooh and ah over the bubbling cheese and stuff, but do we ever compliment the pan? Thanks, pan, for making the crust so crispy and chewy. No, the pizza gets all the attention in the pan. Well, it gets washed. In honor of the forgotten pan, Pizza Hut is doing something unforgettable. For a very short time, a Supreme or up to three toppings pan pizza is just $8.99. $8.99. Oh, Pizza Hut, the best pizzas under one roof. What you want is the best deals ever offered on Ford Explorer. What you need is to hurry to your Tri-State Quality Ford store. It's the final days of Ford's factory-authorized clearance. Time is running out to get low 0.9% financing on every 98 Explorer in stock. Or lease an Explorer Sport for just $2.99 a month. And when you lease any Explorer through Ford Motor Credit, they'll make your first month's payment. What you want is huge savings. And what you need is to get to Ford's factory-authorized clearance during the final days. Visit your Tri-State Quality Ford store now. Tony Phillips, a booming double down the right field line. The Mets now with two huge two-out hits in the last two innings. Antonio Alfonseca is the new Marlin pitcher. Four said, runs, eight hits for the Mets. Excuse me, Gary. I said two-out hit. There is only one out here in the seventh inning. The Lenny Harris hit was a two-out hit in the sixth. Alfonseca to Alfonso and a 1 0 count Edgardo has popped out twice and been called out on strikes Meadows responsible for the base runner Tony Phillips Phillips getting his 10th double and 13th RBI giving the Mets the 4 nothing lead and driving Meadows out of the game and the turn back to Phillips but no throw in a weird sort of way, guys, that, uh, with that rain delay in Chicago, Pete Harnish is the best pitcher that the Cincinnati Reds have. And it's going to be tough for him to bounce back after that rain delay. And if the game is rained out, then playing tomorrow, Cincinnati's got to be in worse position than they are right now. So rain in Chicago, from a Mets standpoint, the way I see it, is not a good thing. And it's been uh, a while now. Yeah. Time's running for the starters. And the longer it gets, the less chance Harnish has to come back effectively. 2-0 count. Edgardo Alfonso pops it up. Shallow right. Berg, the second baseman. Katze, the right fielder. Two down. Alfonso out of there. Phillips still on at second base. And Olerud going to try it again. streak going a walk a home run and a double 13 straight times on base 
Razig has averaged to 354, one behind Larry Walker. Nine hits in his last nine at bats. 13 times up, 13 times on, tying Jose Vizcaino for nine straight hits. Check swing, one and one. record for consecutive hits is 12 held by Pinky Higgins and Walt Dropel. Both in the American League. He's 0 for 3 against Alfonseca. Pitch outside 2 and 1. John delivered his 22nd home run in the third inning to give the Mets the 2 nothing lead. RBI single by Lenny Harris in the sixth added another in the RBI double by Tony Phillips here in this inning the fourth run three and one on John Olerud when you're hitting as well as Olerud has been hitting you're seeing the ball so well Alfonseca with two down Phillips on at second base Fastball, and he's on again. 14 for 14 in reaching base. One away from the National Get League record. Barry Bonds holds that 15 straight times on base. The American League record, 16 by Ted Riven. Mike Piazza a chance to slam the door on the Florida Marlins. Three fly ball outs for Piazza today. Two down and two on. And the fastball up high. Piazza's one for three in his career against Alfonseca. A 4 nothing net lead. One run in so far here in the seventh inning. Piazza. First base. Jackson. Fair territory. Makes the catch. So the run comes on the Tony Phillips double. A run on a couple of hits. Two are left on base. There's the line after seven. Back after this from Wendy's. I think the real difference between Wendy's 99 cent super value menu and every place else is better tasting food. Since we make things fresh in our kitchen, they end up being more delicious. Our chicken nuggets are all white meat. You get five for 99 cents. Our junior bacon cheeseburgers with two strips of bacon are made when you order them. Wendy's 99 cent super value menu. It's made for you. Other places can copy the price, but they can't copy this. Your local Wendy's has a special ticket offer for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes, November 5th through January 3rd. We're back with leftovers that were just built. It's Chevy's one-of-a-kind model year-end clearance. Lease a just-built leftover 98 Blazer for $2.99 per month. 36 months with $6.99 due at signing. Or buy and get $2,500 cash back. Buy a leftover 98 Malibu and get $1,000 cash back. Get $1,500 on Chevy Venture. Or choose 0.9% APR financing. Just-built leftovers are arriving daily. It's the one-of-a-kind model year-end clearance, so shop Chevy. Brenda Blackman, weeknights at 10, only on UPN 9 News. Fans, right now, we'd like to recognize the following organizations for their participation in Fan Appreciation Day going on right here at Shea Today. The Mets thank all of the sponsors for their generous support, both today and throughout this 98 season. And we thank them, Gary Thorne, Tim McCarver, Ralph Kiner. Here on UPN 9, WWOR. Also, to thank our fantastic crew here for the games that they have provided for you fans. Superb job, and you just can't beat them. Our guys in the control room Steve Olbaum, Jeff Mitchell, Rick Miner. We're up. Uh, we're business friends and personal friends, all of us, and they are, they are a delight to be around and do a terrific job and make our jobs much easier. Absolutely. Benny Sinopoli in the booth. Great people. John Cangelosi is the pinch hitter against Al Leiter. 
Angelosi on for Alfonseca. Hitting 232 on the year and a strike taken. Four nothing lead. Lighter's gone the distance. We were talking about Sports Illustrated earlier and Colos John uh, Colos Angeloso has I can't even say that word. <laughs> hey, you want to whatever his uh, last name is. <laughs> he, um, he, he made the uh, cover of Sports Devils right at the hard way. He got plunked by John Smoltz, charged the mound, and was on the bottom of the pile when they took his picture. <laughs> he said it was worth it. I remember that after Ryan, Ryan Thompson Grand Slam home run. There's so many things to remember about this last month of the season too. so many things that Mets fans will have vividly entrenched for a long long time. If I take this in Cobra I'll be able to remember the whole month. <laughs> two two. And foul off. I mean, we have to admit it's really tough for us. Now Ralph will be doing some of the games on Fox here for the final week but for Timmy and I you know you go through the whole year and you get to the final week all the great stuff and we're done today. Yeah. And it's nobody's fault. You know, that's the way it is. But. The way it is. I'll send you some email at uh, <laughs> what happened. <laughs> will you hold up our end of the bargain. Yeah I'll be there. <laughs> If you find an email address for me, let me know. 2-2 two, two the count. Angelosi. And it's 3-2. and two. Top of the order will follow. Berg and then Dunwoody do up for the Marlins here in the eighth inning. And our Nobody Beats the Wiz National League scoreboard. Astros have had that lead throughout. Broken bat, ground ball. Another win for Louisville Slug.